Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the lovely, lovely shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and really anything else that I think is groovy. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering. Content for the blood god. The show. Night for you. I have yes, you can see it on the on screen. Never hike alone or never hike in the snow. A Friday the Thirteenth fan film, um, and um, this one is uh, a nice tidy, just over a uh, half an hour. So uh, you know we can keep things you know like uh, running smoothly. Um, if you have not seen the original Night Never Hike Alone, please check it out. It is on my channel, um, which you can find on, uh, it, it's linked on my uh, Twitch channel. Um, and um, it, if you are watching me on Twitch, there is a, um, a, a VOD that has this, but if you just want the, the short film, uh, you can find it, or you can go to Womp Stomp Films and watch the thing uh, without any of my commentary, although... I don't really talk that much in, in, in that film because it's really good. But um, tonight, we're going to check out the sequel. And, 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 <clears throat> there's a third one uh, that we will check out um, in the near future. Uh, but um, if everyone is ready, uh, grab something to eat, something to uh, drink, something to smoke. And let's go check out a, a cool horror flick. Something that will satisfy us old motherfuckers. And the new people who may have not had a nice classic introduction to Friday the 13th from their or their parents or their brothers or sisters, uh, you know, like we did when we were young. Um, these guys take their craft very seriously. Um, and as you can read from the disclaimer, um, like they're they're serious about like uh, uh, all parts of it. So let's uh, show our appreciation. Let's go check it out. Do do do. Yes, there we go. The lights. Can't watch a horror film with the lights on. Right? Everybody ready? All right, let's boogie. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> This is a prequel. I'm uh, multi-streaming um, for some reason. And, uh, uh... Oh, easy. 
his friend. He's definitely in trouble. Yeah, that is not somebody who is like exploring. That that is somebody who's running. So it seems like, seems like uh, the food is okay with it for now, so. Oh shit. There he is, the man of the motherfucking hour. Hunting season, motherfucker. Damn. Oh, you're still alive. Like he's in a motherfucking golf match or some shit. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he, he took his long drive, and then he's coming in for the putt. And then he's like, yeah, I see your car too. But I'm in the middle of the game. And I'm about to birdie. People forget that um, he's an expert woodsman. In addition to an expert. Hey, Chief. What's the word? Car's registered to a Diana Hill. Her son, Mark, took the car this morning. Supposed to pick her up from work. Never showed. Chief, he's only 17. Jesus. What'd you tell her? Just that we found the car, looking for the owner. Good. I guess I'll head over there and deliver the news. What are you gonna say? Just that her son is missing. I think that's enough for now, don't you? Yes, sir. What about the report? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it in the morning. Is there anything else I should do here? Yeah. You still carry that road salt in your trunk? Yes, sir, I do. Good. Round up all of this business. Spread the salt over the blood. I don't want anybody finding this come tomorrow morning. But sir, this is an active crime scene. I have everything I need for my report. Why don't you just do what I ask, and then beat it? Sir? God, 
Damn you. Was that the... <clears throat> I guess that's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the dad? Hey, hon. It's gonna be a late night. I'll see you in the morning. I love you. Send. Somebody know what's going on. Diana Hill? Yes. I'm, I'm Sheriff sure. Rick Cologne. Is this about Mark? Do you have any information? You have a place we could sit down and talk for a minute? Sure. Uh, right this way. Thank you. Well, the good news is we found your car. But I have the unfortunate duty of letting you know that your son is missing. I know this is a very difficult time for you. No. But Diana, I'm going to have to ask you a couple of questions about Mark. Would you be up for that? Yes, of course. Good. When's the last time you saw him? It was this morning. Mark? Yeah, what's up? My bad. Thank you. What you doing today? So, I was Googling things to do around here mm -hmm. and found some woods. Hmm. I go explore. Okay. Well, where are they? Listen. Mom, you need to stop worrying what I'm doing. Never gonna happen. Stop. Okay. It's snowing. I gotta go. Don't forget, I need you to pick me up at the hospital at three. Yeah, no, no, no. Mark? Yeah. Be careful. Always. Love you. Gotta go. Was he with anyone? Did he have anything with him? Um, he hasn't really had a chance to make many friends yet. He had his camera bag. That's where he was going to take photos. He's a great photographer. I, I don't know if that helps. Sure, it helps. Gives us something to look for. So it's just the two of you? Mark's father left before he was born. It's always been just the two of us. I see. Diana, would you mind if I took a look around in Mark's room? Why? It might give us something that would lead us to him. A clue, a hint, breadcrumbs. You know, when we first moved here, I thought we were finally safe. I used to get so scared in the city. Yeah. Mark would be out all hours of the night with his camera. I thought I could finally relax. Sheriff? Yes? Did you find anything? No, I'm afraid not. Um, oh. Let me take this. Hold on. Go for Cologne. 
Alan, calm down. What is going on? He did what? Sure, what's going on? Something's come up across town that requires my attention. I'll have my office call you in the morning with updates. Ms. Hill, I promise you we are going to do everything within our power to find your boy. Shit, that motherfucker If you motherfucker need dead. anything else from me, call me directly. Thank you, Sheriff. No need to thank me. Just doing my job. Dude, to just to like, it, it sucks so fucking hard for her, like, because she doesn't, she has no idea what's going on. They already know that that her son is is most likely dead, dead. Uh, but um, but they can't they can't prove anything yet. All I saw was blood in the truck, and they know it was Jason, but. At least the old guy does. I'm fairly sure the old guy knows who it is. Uh, why would you keep them here? And why do they let people uh, get... Like, why is this even fucking open? I know it's not easy to get to but why do they even keep it I mean if, if it was me I would be I, I would have a wall around this entire fucking area <laughs> wow. Hey, Mama. Jason. Oh, shit. That's an interesting point, or an interesting thought. Hey, new viewer, how you doing? What does J like? I, I would very much like w to know what's going on in Jason's head. Like, you know, like he knows full well that his mama's dead. So, wait, when he sees this kind of stuff, that he does he does he realize that he's fucked up, or is this just something that's normal and it's one of the things that drives him to do what he does? I don't know. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good, Jason. Good, Jason. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh. Here with 
with all that uh, all the death in the background like yeah uh, like i guess he he doesn't know that he like he's just trying to find some comfort i guess I mean, they do kind of, kind of try to keep people out, but... That son of a bitch. I fucking knew it. Get after him! Yeah, he is absolutely trying to go after Jason. Freeze it, psycho! You're making a big mistake, Sheriff. Cough him. Don't act like you don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? You don't know? Why don't you ask Rick the dick? That's enough. He's still out here, Sheriff. He's still out here. Get him out of here. He's just a chicken shit to do anything about it. We're lucky to be alive, Sheriff. You're not going to lock up a jail, you punk. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I figured he knew. Sheriff, what is going on here? Uh, it's just a bunch of local force. <laughs> Who the hell is Jason? Now's not the time or place. Go home. Be <coughs> with your wife and kid. We'll talk about it in the morning. That's an order. Copy you, Chief. Hey, you want something to do tonight? Log this into evidence, write up the trespassing report on this son of a bitch, and get this shit heap towed out of here. Sir. This is the kind of thing that gets your fucking deputy fucking killed and keeps getting people murdered. You're not getting it, Sheriff. Jason's back. How many people gotta die before you wake up? I got you now, Jarvis. Yeah, bang. Fucking prick. He sounds like a fucking prick. Why is he up in here? He did give you an order to go home. Nice. Oh no, January 13th. 27. It's Friday. story for the mask. There are a lot of little nice tidbits in this movie. You know, if I were Jason, I'd probably stay the fuck away, too, because he's got a fucking, like, that, I don't care who you are, a shotgun blast to the fucking face or chest would not be a good thing. Although, I would imagine Jason would have, still have the advantage. Oh, this is, she 
Jesus. Go the fuck home, bro. Mm. Yep. Okay. Please hon. go home. Just wrapping up now. Be home soon. Oh. Give the little guy a hug for me. Love you. Oh fuck. I like this guy too. I don't want him to fucking die. Turn your light off, man. Well, no, he's a police officer. Why would he turn his light off? secret place, I guess. <clears throat> yeah. I think this is this is Jason's secret place. Yeah. Rare, secret, unguarded moment. Um, oh my God. Wessex County Sheriff's Department. Sir, put your hands above your head. The closest anybody has had to getting a drop on fucking Jason. Sir, I said put your hands above your head. Dispatch. Dispatch, do you copy? Sir, I said put your hands above your head. Dispatch. Dispatch. you see him without his mask on. Wow, that was fucking cool. So fucking cool. Hell yeah. That was really good. Hell yeah, that was really good. I'm so pleased by this. So yeah, that, that was uh, Never Hike in the Snow, a Friday the 13th fan film. This is a prequel to Never Hike Alone. And then um, uh, next time I will watch the um, the sequel, Never Like Hike Alone 2. Um, and that's going to be some, some goodness right there. So, um, yeah, that was a good one, right? Hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I, I always bring stuff like this uh, to the table. Um, I've been stuck on uh, franchise fan films for a little while, you know, with all the stuff coming. But, uh, you know, um, I always try to keep it interesting and uh, keep the mix alive. Um, you know, never let, uh, always keep you guessing, you know? you know. This is stuff I like, and I like a lot of different stuff. I'm a nerd, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. <laughs>